Let's welcome in the head coach of the Mustangs, Coach Paul Cantabene, who joins us now here on the All Access Post Game Show. Coach, I know you referenced it at the half with Paul, but um, Salisbury's was the story tonight more Salisbury's defense or your guys maybe not taking advantage of the opportunities they had the way that they you would have wanted them to? Well, I think that what Salisbury does really well is that they take a, they take a, they do a great job of taking advantage of your mistakes. And when we made mistakes, Sam, you know, throws a, cross, a pass, Louis drops it, they throw it in the net, we miss a ground ball in the crease, they pick it up, throw it in. They make, they do a great job and making you pay for those mistakes and that's what they did to us and when we had those mistakes you know Tatum had two one-on-ones that he missed and I thought we didn't take advantage of them nearly as much and uh, we didn't take advantage of the man, man up situations we had you know we had a lot of shots on them but I do give a lot of credit to their goalie I think their goalie's a lot better than he was a year ago and he's a big difference as why they're undefeated because they are giving up the, uh, give some shots but I thought we gave a great effort I think our effort was great we got to start making we got to start taking advantage of teams mistakes and we're not doing a great job that teams make mistakes we're letting them off the hook a little bit uh, but uh, good game great ride rivalry and uh, you know we, we kind of just got a little discombobulated there in the third of the fouls that caught up to us a little bit but you know what uh, teams they're, we're made of the right things and we're going to be all right come at the end of the year I think you know but uh, we're doing the right things. Now coach in a game like this is this something where you burn the tape and say move it on to the next game or is this something where you try and take something from it moving forward? Well I'm not sure why we'd burn the tape you know I think there's a lot of things to learn from there uh, as we go through the game uh, how we have to handle some situations in the riding game especially and we got to handle some situations man up that we have to take advantage of and uh, we got to be a little tougher on offense. There's a lot of things we can learn from this, and there's a lot of things Salisbury's going to learn from that, I think, as well, because I thought we defended them for the most part pretty well. It's just that we gave them some situations in the clear in, 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 our, in our riding game and some trash. So I can think of about six goals that if we do some things differently, it could be a little different. But I give them a lot of credit. They played well, and, uh, you know, I think we'll be all right coming up to the Mustang Classic. We have to do another, two other great opportunities to play, and we still have to play three top 20 teams and two top five teams. So, you know, we got a lot coming out. Coach, uh, in the fourth quarter, obviously, you guys really showed some signs of life. Unfortunately, couldn't combine that with face-off victories, get the ball back and try to keep that momentum going. But how important is that that you played so well in the fourth quarter as you go towards next weekend? Well, it's, I think, you know, our guys will play hard. You know, they do the right things. They're working hard after practice and before practice. And, you know, it's just not clicking for us right now. But you can see that. You can see the talents there, I think. You can see the things that we do. We're facing off two freshman face-off guys right now, you know. So, I mean, I think Seth showed he can be good. And uh, Pat McCann gave us some really good opportunities. So we're going to have to learn from that. But in the end, they're going to be better players for that. And Malfrey for them is playing pretty well right now. So, I mean, they're playing well as a team right now. So we'll see where they are at the end of the year. But, you know, I like where we're heading. You know, I wish we had more victories. Everybody does. Uh, but I think that, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're doing some things well. So I'm not 100% disappointed, but I think there's some things that if we did differently, it could have been a whole lot different. That's for sure. You talked about, you know, heading in the right direction. Is it is it hard to stay up and stay encouraged when you're not seeing the victories, even if you're seeing good things in game? As you, oh, as you we're keep working paying. hard. As I told you, I mean, it's not, you know, it's not, it's not what it's about. You know, for us, it's about getting ready for May and stuff. The victories will come. You know, we're going to be ready for that. You know, we play a tough schedule. We've already played three, four top 12 teams in the country, so nobody else is really doing that. And so we're getting our situations. We're going to be ready for our conference play, and hopefully we'll get a couple more. We can get a victory or two coming up here in the next week. But, you know, our morale is good. Our guys know what they're doing. They're, they understand this. This is the schedule we play. Nobody else does that, and we're ready for it, and we're getting better for it. And we're going to take a few on the chin? Sure, we're going to take a few on the chin. But our guys are trying to work hard. And I like them. They're good kids. They're working hard. And uh, their morale's fine. Tell me about this guy you brought up here tonight. No, Gray's playing. You know, uh, he's doing a good job. He hit some shots for us today, but Gray also knows he needs to do more, I think. You know, I'm putting pretty hard in Gray, and uh, he, <laughs> he, he knows that. Um, but, um, you know, Gray's put in position to start a lot of plays and finish a lot of plays for us, and uh, he's starting to do that a little bit. So uh, he's had some opportunities tonight. He could have helped us. It didn't work out, but later in the game he played well, and Gray's going to come around. He's a good good player. He plays hard, and he's going to start making the plays to help us win a lot of games here real soon. Coach, thank you for taking the time for us. We'll see you next weekend for the Classic. Thank you very much. He's Coach Paul